Good evening, and welcome to this week's video message. I am Teresa Leonetti O'Connor, Director of Parish Services here at St. Francis Cabrini Parish. We are coming to you from the St. Joseph Chapel in the Parish Center, this beautiful chapel. I had a difficult time coming up with this weekly message about the Eucharist. I know, I'm still not sure why, but the main thing that kept coming to my heart was really loud and clear was a snippet from a St. Augustine homily that I had heard paraphrased for many years. Become what you believe. I just couldn't get that out of my mind and heart. So I decided to finally look up that St. Saint, Saint Augustine since he was such a prolific preacher and writer, and I'm so glad I did. This is what St. Augustine said from one of his many homilies. Believe what you see. See what you believe and become what you are, the body of Christ. When we say amen, we are saying yes. Hmm. I believe this is the body and blood of Christ and that I will be the body and blood of Christ to others. Isn't that amazing? And in the same homily, St. Augustine continues, If you, therefore, are Christ's body and members, it is your own mystery that is placed on the Lord's table. It is your own mystery that you are receiving. You are saying amen to what you are. Your response is a personal signature affirming your faith. When you hear the body of Christ, you reply, Amen. Be a member of Christ's body, then, so that your Amen may ring true. Wow. That was from St. Augustine's sermon number 272. The Eucharist unites us with one another in community, and it strengthens us on our journey to the kingdom. Like all sacraments, it is a sign that God is with us on our pilgrimage. We are so very blessed that Jesus continually comes through simple things like bread and wine to become our very food, to unite with us in all of his mind, body, soul, and divinity so that we are nourished and, Im and imbued with the cosmic, into cosmic integration of life itself, nourished and strengthened to live this one crazy wild life of ours. Where else can all this happen but at Mass on Sundays, when we gather together to become Christ's body? We are strengthened and nourished. We need that, don't we? Also, here in the presence of our blessed sacraments, here at the chapel, in this beautiful chapel, all it takes is for us to show up. Show up. Come in here. Take the time and the chance to come and see. This is where you don't have to think or speak at all. Just sit in silence and see what Jesus has to share with you today. It is a way to connect with yourself and Jesus in a sacred and special way. This St. Joseph's Chapel, located in our parish center, is open from 8 a.m. until 8 p.m. Monday to Saturday and 12.30 p.m. to 8 p.m. on Sundays. You may not consider yourself an active Catholic or religious, or maybe even spiritual, but let me tell you, here in this holy place, Christ meets you wherever you are and nurtures your mind and heart, a respite in your hectic day of, or hectic life. This summer, give Christ a chance to work in your mind and heart. Come to this chapel, and better yet, come to Mass. Become the body of Christ with us and to the world. To be strengthened and fulfilled, the more you come, the better you will feel. The more you will want to always be with Christ in your life in a very real and present way. 
our parish had embarked on a stellar journey with next generation Catholic and have already put together a pastoral plan. To become the body of Christ community, a bolder, better body of Christ community. And now we're entering the implementation phase. We hope to live up to the words we speak at Mass each week and that St. Augustine reminds us to become what we believe, that we will be fully engaged in the Mass, our mind, body, emotions, and spirit, not just on autopilot, but really to participate and encounter Christ from the altar of the Lord to the altar of the world. You may have lots of questions about the different parts of Mass, even the Eucharistic prayer, and because of that, you don't come to Mass more often or, or at all. Well, let me tell you that as the leaves begin to change and the students and teachers get settled in for the new school year, our parish is going to offer two workshops in October to help us learn more about who we are as the body of Christ and also about the Eucharist itself. Beginning October, then again in February, we invite you you, who are not sure about what being Catholic means to you today. You, who want to grow deeper in your faith and practice, but aren't always available. You, who misses coming to weekend masses, but feels ashamed that other things have taken its place and precedence in your life. This upcoming series on the Eucharist is just what heaven ordered then for us all. I pray that you will save the dates that you will see at the end of this video and make the commitment here and now. I will come to the workshops because yes, I am worthy of Christ's love and I want to learn more and grow together with my community of faith. There will be a presentation, then ample time for sharing and conversation, getting to know our community in a small group. Where else does this happen? Even on Sundays, where else can we go where we are connected through cosmic love and intimate experiences through Christ Jesus himself? We are one and connected for life, eternal life. Hmm. Come live out your faith. Visit St. Joseph Chapel and come back to church. Saturdays, 5.30 p.m., Sunday, 7 a.m., 9 a.m., and 11 a.m. We miss you. Now, a public service announcement. This weekend is Martha's Cupboard's collection. The cupboard is in need of the following items. Dish, dish soap, laundry detergent, tissues, toilet paper, coffee, bottled or small, or small cans of juice. Also, gift cards or monetary donations are also very welcome and may be brought to the vestibule of the church or to the rectory at any time. As you are grocery shopping, please keep the cupboard in mind, especially when stores are having special sales such as buy one, get one. Thank you again for your support and become the body of Christ with us. See you Sunday.